Dude, what the f- Why? Shouldn't you be building like a battle shell or something? Did you run out of shit to invent? I just don't understand why. I just, I, wh why? All right, good morning. So today I'm going to be taking you with me into the grocery store because I've been meaning to get groceries for the car. And by that, I mean kind of dry pantry items that I can have to munch on throughout the week so that I don't have to eat in restaurants as much. Uh, it's going to happen, but I can certainly minimize it. So it's a good video idea for me to show you what kind of foods I keep in the car. So I don't have a refrigerator or a microwave or even a stovetop right now. So I have to be very specific on what kind of foods I bring into the car. I think a portable stove is going to be my next purchase for real, though, because I can already think of a few dishes that I can create in the car that are easy to make. Uh, so stick around for that. But let's get up and start our day and uh, head into the gym and take a shower and do all that good stuff and then we'll get going over to the grocery store look at this my room is an absolute mess when i snap my fingers it'll all be clean so here we go man uh mattress is all clean we got our window covers stacked on top of our mummy bag and our two blankets underneath on the far end covers are down and we are ready to go to the gym. Got some condensation on the windshield, but that's okay. That's not a huge deal. All right, let's turn off our source of power. Put that down here, beautiful. You know, it's funny, some mornings I wake up and I forget which Walmart I'm parked in. <laughs> I thought I was in a different Walmart and I woke up, I'm like, oh shit, I'm here. This happens often because I have slept in so many Walmarts across Rhode Island and Massachusetts, it's hard to keep track. But I do have three Walmarts in particular that I sleep in. But sometimes I'll venture out into these other Walmarts and set up camp there. My biggest thing about a Walmart right now is whereabouts the Walmart is. Because if it's in or near the city, I'm not going to sleep there. Obviously, because there's just higher crime levels in the city and around the city. So I tend to stick to Walmarts that are kind of out in the burbs a little bit. It's just a safety precaution. If I don't get some damn subscribers bringing my phone into the shower, I don't know how much longer I can do it. what that noise was man i thought the place was gonna cave in on me all right so we got that workout in showered up let's go get some groceries all right here's how i dry my towel just like that 
uh, turn the heat on and believe it or not, that towel will be dry in like an hour. So let's go. Don't be trying to take my wallet, y'all. Don't be trying to take my wallet. I got a full dollar up in here. All right, just another reason to love my hot bags. I'm actually gonna bring this into the grocery store with me and I'm gonna put my groceries in this bag so I don't have to waste all the other bags. I think that's gonna do it for today, so let's move on out. All right, here we go, 6202, and that'll keep me going for a while. All right, so we have our goods in the back here. Now we're gonna get rid of some trash and then we're gonna go park it and organize, get everything all set up in here. The sun came out, so it's actually really nice out. So before I get organized and everything in the back there, I'm gonna treat myself to this, I love this stuff, um, kombucha, ginger, lemon. Oh man, it's good stuff. That is insanely refreshing. I have to say drinks like these really helped me in my sobriety. I had to kind of look for other things to drink that I could enjoy. And this just so happened to be one of them. All right, so we are all set up in the back here. Let me show you where I put my stuff and what kind of stuff I got. All right, let's go in through here. So I put the um, gift stuff for my son underneath this because it's all flat. So check it out, underneath the foot of my bed is where I'm gonna be keeping all my stuff. You can see right here, I got me some white bread, cause you know me, I love me some peanut butter and jelly. And I got my bananas. I also have uh, apples here. Underneath is oranges and lemons. And there's other miscellaneous items like multivitamins and like apple cider vinegar here. I've got my applesauce right here. And this is mostly like where I'll keep the produce stuff like apples and bananas oranges i got my bowls here for my cereal here's my cereal alpin is my favorite cereal because it's also the healthiest cereal i can get my hands on um, and then i have my nutrigrain bars here so put this stuff back 
All right, over on this side, this is where I keep my canned goods. Peanut butter and jelly right here. I got my honey right here. Honey is delicious on the cereal. And pretty much just all my canned goods that you saw me pick up in the store go right here. So everything's pretty compact down there. And then right here, this is where I keep my cutlery, right? So I got my fork, knife, spoon. That's all I need. Little cutting board right here. And this toothbrush right here, the black toothbrush, is a cleaning tool, actually. All right. Put that down. Close this door. All right, I also keep my paper towel, like, right here as well. Easy to reach. All right, also, this cooler here doubles as a place for me to put my jackery, right? And then I can charge the jackery. Right, and that can just be charging while I'm driving. That's actually hooked up right here, as you can see. And while we're in here, I'll show you what's in here. So, lemon squeezer. I got my can opener right here. And I have my Ziploc bags, Tide pen, and I also have some business cards in here. All right, so these are just a few of the canned goods that I eat on a weekly basis. Let's start here. We got the white chicken breast in a can. Good to go. Sweet corn, absolutely love it. I got the black beans right here. Good source of protein. I like to treat myself to some spaghetti and meatballs, and I will actually eat this straight up out of the can. No qualms. Um, I'll always have honey because I pour honey into my cereal at night. Um, chop up some bananas too. It's really good. And of course, peanut butter and jelly on deck, but I already had that. Uh, for snacks, I got these Nutri-Grain bars. I love these. These are great for just on the go snacks. All right. And then the cereal of the year award goes to Alpen. All right, Muesli. It is pretty much a very basic cereal. All right. It's just grains, fruits, and nuts. No added sugar. It's a very healthy cereal. Um, it's probably one of the healthiest cereals on the market. I mean, look at the ingredients here. I mean, you can tell it's a good cereal when the ingredients aren't like ongoing. Do you know what I mean? These are just a few of the goods that I get. And as far as fruits go, I already showed you that. My favorite fruits are bananas, apples, and of course, oranges. I love oranges. I'm good to go with that. So that's what a grocery haul looks like for me. Um, but as far as restaurants that I like to eat at, um, I try to stay away from most fast food places like McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, those kinds of places. Love me some Panera Bread. I love their soups, salads, and sandwiches. Love me some Jersey Mike's, if you couldn't already tell. I'm quick to get... Um, a slice of pizza. And if I see a place that I think I might like, I'm not afraid to go in and try it out and see what I can get. Another thing that I like to do every day is a thing called intermittent fasting. I'm sure you've heard of it. Uh, so I only eat within a certain window of time. I rarely eat in the morning and I'll fast all the way up until about 12, one or two o'clock. Then I'll have something to eat and I'll snack throughout the day. But my main meal is usually at night after work. You know, I'll either pick something up or I'll make something for myself, but I really enjoy looking forward to that part of my day. So I'll jump in the bag there, set up camp, have something to eat, and then I'm done for the night. But I like fasting because it makes me feel good. It keeps me sharp and it also limits how much I need to eat, which is perfect for my current situation. So that's gonna do it for this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you like this channel so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.